Star Citizen Alpha 3.21 just went live and we're going straight into it. In this patch, as we all know, this one is a total of 34 gigs in size from 320. So this is going to be so this is going to be a substantial download. So get started as soon as possible. It looks like they may have done a wipe because it says starting AUC is 20,000, but we'll have to find out. In this patch, the Crusader Series A1 Spirit is now available to fly. It looks like the owner of all variants have access to the A1 in this patch build. So this is good news. In regards to the new features, they've added the new jump point rest stop stations and Lagrange points. It says addition of three additional rest stop stations that act as the final stop before entering a jump point. Each location is set up similarly to all other Lagrange points and consists of a parent gas cloud and a small gas cloud. A gateway station stop and structure leading to the jump point itself. It is important to note that jump points are currently non-functional in 3.21 as Stanton is the only available system at this time. The three stations they added is the Pyro Gateway, the Magnus Gateway, and the Terra Gateway. In addition to this, they added the legal and illegal retrieve consignment mission as well. Also, the new illegal mission, Korea Steel Evidence, and of course, the A1 Spirit has been added. In regards to feature updates, they have the repel raid on Orison with the new Crusader platforms that's been added. And they also added support for players to sell things owned by members of their party without being considered stolen. So that's an awesome addition. In addition to this, they have ground vehicle physics update as well as the driver remote turret quality of life improvements. Just to let you guys know, my goal is to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of this year, and I cannot do it without you. If you do watch my content regularly, please do consider subscribing, which will help me out. All right, I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care.